let us move on to the next topic which is derive the expression for potential energy stored in a self inductance coil let us consider a self inductance coil l which produces a, a induced emf which produces a induced emf so this induced emf will oppose any change in current that is formed in this coil so this induced emf for this induced emf to oppose any kind of current so there should be a certain amount of work has to be done in this self inductance coil so this work done is formed or is said to be a magnetic potential magnetic potential energy so the work done is stored in the form of magnetic potential energy in the self inductance coil now the rate of work done is given by d w by d so we need to know the value of or the the value of dw by dt that is rate of work done the rate of work done dw by dt is given by ei so now we shall know this how we got this the value of dw by dt here so e is given by w by q so the emf is given by work done by charge so work done is given by e into q it will be so but charge that q is equal to i p so work done is equal to e i p so now let us put the t on the left hand side work done by time is equal to ei or d w by dt is equal to ei so this is how we got the value ei for this dw by dt now so i have substituted this value onto this equation so now let us write the expression for the self inductance that is e is equal to l into di by dt so let us put this e let us put the value of e onto this equation so d w by dt is equal to l i d i by dt so now dt dt will get cancelled dw is equal to l i into d i so dw is equal to l into i d i so now let us write the total work done for this equation the total work or the total work done for this expression so for to do this the total work done we need to integrate them so we need we shall integrate this equation integration of dw is equal to integration of l into i d i so now the on to this integrating symbol we shall apply the limits 0 to i because the the current the minimum amount of current that is observed in this self inductance coil is zero and the maximum amount of current that is found in this inductance coil is i so you will learn about this integration in your mathematics classes don't worry about that so integration of dw is w is equal to the l is constant here so i have taken out so integration of 0 to i i d i so work done is equal to l so integration of i into di so 
so it will be i square by 2 limits 0 to i so the work done is given by l into i square by 2 minus 0 on applying the limits so work done will be equal to l i square by 2 or work done is equal to 1 by 2 l i square so this is the work done the expression for work done for the energy potential energy stored in a self inductance coil let us move on to the next topic which is ac generator AC generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. I'll repeat again. AC generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. This AC generator was developed by Nikola Tesla. So now I'll write the principle of this AC generator. So the principle The principle of this AC generator says that when the coil rotates in the magnetic field, when the coil rotates in the presence of magnetic field, the effective area of this coil changes. So due to this effective area, when the effective area of this coil changes, an induced EMF is formed in the coil. So this is the principle of this AC generator. So this AC generator consists of two magnets. One, the north face, north face of the magnet is faced towards the coil and another magnet, the south pole of the magnet is faced towards this coil. So here only one coil is present. So here the coil is made to rotate. Okay, here it is rotated on in the clockwise direction. So here it is in the clockwise direction. So it rotates like this. So here, when the coil rotates in the presence of magnetic field, the area of the coil changes. As you can clearly see that the coil, let us assume that this is to be a coil. So here, the magnet will be here and here. So if the coil rotates, here it is exactly 0 degree. So when the coil rotates, so it will be like this. Now it is 90 degree. Again it rotates, it is 180 degree. Again it rotates, the angle changes. So completely the area is changing, the amount of magnetic field that is made to fall on this coil is changing at every point. So here it is changing, so that's what I, tell, I told you in the principle. So here for this, this coil is said to be an armature here. So here this armature is connected to two slip rings here. So they are, made, they are made for the rotation here and this uh, slip rings they are connected to the carbon bushes and this carbon bushes are in turn connected to the external connections. So here a current is induced due to change in magnetic flux here. That current or that EMF is called alternating EMF or a new type of current that is alternating current here. So the alternating current was discovered by this Nikola Tesla by using this AC generator. So now let us move on to the theory of this AC generator. So now here the coil is rotating with certain velocity here. That velocity is angular velocity that is omega. So omega is given by theta by t or theta is equal to omega t here. Okay. Now, the magnetic flux that is phi t, magnetic flux is given by N B A cos theta. So, this is the expression for magnetic flux. N is the number of turns that the coil is rotating here. That is the number of turns of the coil. That is N. B is the magnetic field. A is the effective area of the coil. So, the magnetic field, magnetic flux phi t is N B a cos theta is omega t. Now, let us, let us write the expression for Faraday's law of induction that is E is equal to minus uh, 
d phi y d phi b by d t. So e will be equal to minus d by d t into n b a cos omega t. So now here number of terms is constant. B is constant, and then A is given. A A A is constant. Here. Let let us put them out of this equation. So E is equal to minus n B A D by D B of cos omega T. So now E is equal to minus n B A. Differentiation of cos omega t is sine omega t of minus sine omega t into omega. So e will be equal to minus minus and minus they get cancel each other. So n b a omega sine omega t. So this differentiation you will learn in your mathematics class. So don't worry about that now. Huh? So differentiation of cos omega t is minus sine omega t into omega. So this n b a omega is taken as e m. E m is equal to n b a omega. So e will be equal to e m sine omega t. So omega. Is given by two pi mu. Omega is given by two pi mu. Let us substitute this two pi mu onto this equation. So e is equal to e m sine of two pi mu t. So this is the expression for e m f that is used in this AC generator. So e m is the peak value of Maximum amount of EMF that the induced EMF varies from plus EM to minus EM as shown here. Here, this is a sine wave. The peak value here, this plus EM is here. This is the uh, maximum peak value that the positive in the positive half cycle that the maximum amount of EMF that is produced here. And here it is the negative EM here. The negative EM is here. Here the it is the maximum amount of peak value that is produced in the negative half cycle. That is the positive half cycle, and this is the negative half cycle with time t here. With time t here, as you can clearly see here. These are the few questions that has appeared in previous question papers. So the first question is. State Faraday's law of induction, which was asked in March 2016. So Faraday's law of Faraday's law of induction states that the magnitude of the induced EMF is equal to the, the magnitude of the induced EMF is equal to the time rate of change of magnetic flux through the circuit or the coil. So E is equal to minus d phi d by dt. This is what Faraday's law of induction states. So this is our next question. Mention the significance of Lenz law, which was asked in March 2016, March 2015, and March 2017. So the significance of Lenz law is law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy is the significance of Lenz law. So the next question: What is self-inductance? The phenomenon in which EMF is being induced in the same coil due to change in current in that coil itself. So, so the phenomenon in which the EMF is being induced in the same coil due to varying current in that coil in the same coil is called as self-inductance. Next question. Give the expression for energy stored in an inductance coil carrying current, which was asked in March 2014. The expression for this is W is equal to half L I square. So this is the expression for energy stored in an inductance coil carrying current.
The next question is what are eddy currents give one use of it. So the eddy currents are the circulating currents which are formed when a bulk piece of conductor is made to pass between a uh, two magnets. So when a bulk piece of magnet is made to pass through two magnets that is one phase of the magnet is to be north pole and other phase of the magnet is said to be south pole the change in magnetic flux will produce a certain type of current that current will be circulating current so that current is called as eddy currents so eddy currents has many applications of it so you have to write one application of that okay the next question is explain briefly coil and magnet experiment to demonstrate emi so there are three experiments in the chapter one is coil and magnet experiment and coil coil experiment we have so you have to write you have to explain coil and magnet experiment with the circuit or with the figure you have to explain this to demonstrate the electromagnetic induction so the next question is state and explain lens law for induced emf the lens law states that the polarity of the induced emf is such that it produces a current which opposes the change in magnetic flux that caused it so you have to write the statement after writing the statement you have to write the expression this one this expression you have to write for that it is it, it could be asked for two marks so it was asked in the year march 2014 the next question is derive the expression for motional emf this is the most important question that is present in this chapter so which was asked many times it was asked in the year july 2014 march 2015 july 2016 and march 2017 so it is the most probable question that we have in this chapter we have to derive the expression for motional emf so the last one derive the expression for energy stored in a current carrying coil so you have to derive this expression that we use equal to half m i square here you have to derive this expression which was asked in the year july 2016 so these are the most common questions that are asked in previous question papers